Okay, number nine, let's write it down. And then the question is, how are you going to do that? And one thing to look at, just make a simple u substitution again. Hopefully things will work out for you. So u equals root x. I'm going to say u squared is equal to x. And then I'm going to write this over here. So I'm going to write down du. What's well, it's going to be 2u d2, right? Equals dx. Let's see if this works out for us. And I'll put a little star over here. And let's see, um, 1dx is 2u du. That's not so bad. x is equal to u squared. That's not so bad. And the root of x is just equal to u. So I get something that I can you know, simplify, conditionally so, by the way. And um, I'm going to divide through by u. So it's 1, I'm sorry, 1. It's, yeah, put the 2 on the outside. And then you get u plus 1 du. Well, so you know what? Things worked out pretty nicely. So you get 2 natural log u plus 1, the absolute value of that, plus some constant of integration. What do I put over here? 2 natural log. Well, what's u? Oh, u is the root of x. By the way, this is a fine answer. I also want to point I can simplify this a tiny little bit. And the reason for that, the absolute value of that um, is always, the root of x plus 1 is always a, a negative number. So I can write that down. And it's certainly not changing it much. But I got this over here. Let me get my um, red pen out and see how we did. Was I able to get here? I did. Whoops, sorry about that. I got the 2. I got the natural log. I got this. I got that. Everything is good to go. Thank you.